Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this problem, we're told to let g of x equal x squared plus x minus 6 over the absolute value of x minus 2. So in order to find the limits, we have to get rid of the absolute value first. So we can say that g of x equals x squared plus x minus 6 over x minus 2, with just the absolute value dropped, if x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. Why? Well, if what's inside the absolute value is positive, then taking the absolute value doesn't do anything to x minus 2, and we just have that. Meanwhile, if x minus 2 is negative, then it's equal to x squared plus x minus 6 over negative x minus 2. Right? It's the same way that the absolute value of negative 4 is equal to negative negative 4 is equal to 4. So now we can find the limit as x approaches 2. So in A, for part 1, we have the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of g of x. Um, I should specify here, x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0, that means x is greater than or equal to 2. x minus 2 is less than 0, that means x is less than 2, right, just to solve these um, inequalities. So x is approaching 2 from the right, that means x is greater than 2, which means we just use this fraction. So this is x, the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of x squared minus x, or sorry, plus x minus 6 over x minus 2. This equals, we can't just plug in 2 directly because then we'd be dividing by 0. So instead we have to factor the numerator first. So I have a trinomial that we're factoring, x squared plus x minus 6, multiplying to negative 6, adding to 1, b positive 3 and negative 2. This is over x minus 2. So these just cancel. We have the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of x plus 3. Now we can plug in 2 and it's just 2 plus 3 equals 5. In 2, we have the limit as x approaches 2 from the left. This means its value is less than 2, which means we're using this one. So we have and I'll just factor it directly, x plus 3 times x minus 2, right, because the numerator doesn't change, over negative x minus 2. These cancel, and we're left with um, x plus 3 plugging in directly, 2 plus 3 divided by negative 1 is 5 over negative 1 is negative 5. Therefore, the limit as x approaches 2 from the right is 5. The limit as x approaches 2 from the left is negative 5. Therefore, no the limit as x approaches 2 of g of x does not exist. So sketch the graph of g. Well, we have two lines here, basically. So we need when we are greater than 2, then we have x plus 3. So we have um, a y-intercept. So this is basically equal to y equals x plus 3, y-intercept. And then going to the right one, up one, to the right one, up one. So it looks like this, but it actually starts here. And then it goes off in that direction. And I should draw an open circle because it doesn't equal 2 because you can't divide by 2. And equals negative x minus 3 in the other direction. So negative three is down here. That means we go to the right one down one, to the right one down one for um, the slope, connect the two points, and it looks something like this. So this is the function, and we can see why the limit as x approaches two doesn't exist, because they're coming at completely different values as we approach from different sides.